Today is Tuesday, May 2nd, and you can enjoy some of the work going on to beautify Brewster already on this wonderful day as uh, our folks at the church work on putting in some daffodils and some forsythia and some things for everyone to enjoy. Don't mind the traffic as it goes by, just more signs of life outside. Today's passage is from Matthew chapter 6, verse 28 through 33. And why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore do not worry, saying, What will we eat, or what will we drink, or what will we wear? For it is the Gentiles who strive for all these things, and indeed your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But strive first for the kingdom of God and for his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Well, we're picking up on yesterday's reflection, and today's thought, instead of being about birds, is about flowers. The greatest and wisest king couldn't hope to be clad like one of these floral beauties. How much more does God care for you? What can we learn from the lilies of the field? Well, today I'm standing in an area of new growth here at Brewster Baptist. This time of year, many of us are planting, watering, and preparing for Brewster in bloom. It's just over a week away. The herring are running at Stony Brook Grist Mill. It's that time of year to see nature get all gussied up. So I wonder, what's the fanciest outfit you own, and what's the time period? Citing one of the greatest periods of economic and political flourishing in ancient Israel's history, Jesus reminds us that even Solomon the Great, his ancestor, couldn't keep up with the lilies of the field. Some things are beyond our ability to control and give creative expression to, and the wildflowers are just one such thing. They just naturally shine. One of the lessons that we can learn from them is that we can bloom wherever we are planted as long as we are rooted in Christ. The world puts many demands on our lives, provision, preparation, navigation, Many situations in life require a delicate approach if we are to be successful. So next time we're in a thorny situation, let's remember the delicacy of a rose to handle life in all of its beauty with care. When we reply with a little sensitivity, remembering that we are loved and provided for by God, we can more fully share God's love and provision with other people. God has already provided all that we need. So instead of worrying or wilting at the pressure, Let's focus on watering and willingness, drinking in the water of the Spirit, and being willing to be clothed by God in ways beyond our control. Thanks be to God for the indescribable gift of provision and care that we experience on a daily basis. Today, I invite you to draw a picture of a lily, a tulip, a rose, or your favorite flower. Add a dash of color in for effect. Keep it around for a week or so to remind yourself how you beautifully, God has beautifully clothed you. Thanks be to God.